Hello there. I just spent about almost 20 minutes making a video, which was probably way too long anyways, of uh, me making a landing page. Um, because there was a lot of pauses and at the very end of it, I found out there was no waveform, so it didn't even record my audio. I was so mad. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the landing page that I created for the video. And I'm just gonna walk you through the bits and pieces. So I, I basically started with a brand new landing page, just plain new page. And what I did do is I, I went to, um, let me back up. I'm using the Impreza theme and with the Impreza theme comes um, this fancy slider program that I don't use and Visual Composer, and this is Visual Composer. There's a classic mode, and then there's the back-end mode. Well, right here is the back-end mode. When you click back-end mode, it shows this whole entire area. So all I did to kick it off with was I named my page, landing page example, and then made sure my slug reflected that. And then I went into Visual Composer. I added a new element and I added a row. And that row is going to give you this area right here. <clears throat> and in this row, you can go ahead and split it up into different columns, which is really, really cool. I love it. So in this case, I split it up into two columns and then I clopped the menu. So then um, in the first column, I went ahead and added a single image. And when you add a single image, you can find it right here. It says single image. <clears throat> and I added the single image um, right in this box here. And I sized it to, um, to be constrained at 600 by any any width and in this case it was 600 high and um, actually I'm going to go ahead and align that left and then from here you can go ahead and animate it so you can uh, make it appear from the center which I'll go ahead and do right now and the animation delay, two second, point two. I'll just save it as that. <clears throat> Here I went ahead and cr uh, added some elements. I created, a, I inserted a heading, and a heading down here, which it actually became my subhead. And there you can find it in here, headings. <clears throat> and because I make landing pages quite a bit, I went ahead and added a preset. So this preset, I just tagged as blue click headline and then key benefits. In the top typography area, I uh, added a bunch of new fonts. You can add those um, as you're designing your page. Pick out fonts that you like and just add them into uh, your, your WordPress install. So that way, in this case, I wanted uh, Roboto and I set the font size at 72. I set the font color as uh, 72. I mean, font color is white, God. And so on, font size 20. And then I just saved that. I added some space, I added 30 pixels. I did this again, I, I added a key benefits of um, having a, building your own free website and everything's uh, less left aligned <clears throat> I set the typography for the subhead options as uh, 20 and kind of a normal thinnish italic not super thin like the headline is added some more space and then I added a gravity form so every 
everything that you fill out in your gravity form is right here. When you go ahead and create a gravity form, um, which I'll go ahead and do another tutorial at another time, uh, will get populated into here. So in this case, I went ahead and added another element and Visual Composer uh, has a gravity forms element, which I went ahead and put in there. Should have turned off my email before this, but uh, anyway, I, I went ahead and added a gravity form in here. And then one thing you wanna make sure to do is remove the header that's going to remove any menu items um, up at the top. And then you're gonna go ahead and hide the title bar. So that'll hide your breadcrumbs, it'll hide your the, the page title. And then at the very bottom, hide your widgets in the footer and hide your copyright area. And then lastly, we want to make sure that your row, when you insert a row, you can insert a picture. So you can drop a background in, into your row. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and um, make sure that your row height is full screen. You're gonna have small gaps. You're going to center your content vertically. And then in this case, I chose a secondary background of white text. There's my background image that I chose, but basically you upload whatever images you want. <clears throat> and then I made sure to specify that it's gonna cover the whole row. And I'm gonna have it repeat if necessary and centered. I threw vertical, vertical parallax in there, but it really does nothing. And it might on a bigger screen, but I don't know because I don't use a bigger screen. And then just go ahead and save those changes when you, when you go ahead and um, choose an image. And then we're gonna go ahead and update the page. We'll view the page. And boom, did you see the little zoom? Your image zoomed in from the center. You got a real nice, clean Roboto font, key benefits. And then in this area, I went ahead and style, styled all this um, in Gravity Forms. You can go ahead and use CSS to um, take your button from underneath and put it up over there. But I'll go ahead and do that in a different video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. David at blueclick.co. Have a great day, and I hope this helps.